Today, I will show you what it takes to get into the McDonald's franchise system. There's two ways you can enter. You can either buy from an existing franchisee or you can build a new location. Building a new McDonald's location can be a pretty capital intensive project. The cost to open a new franchise per the franchise disclosure documents is estimated to be between $1.2 and $2.2 million. I'll take a look at the cost. They break down between startup cost, build cost, and opening cost. First, the startup cost. Those include things like the franchise fee of $45,000, travel and living expenses while you're training of three to $35,000. Next, we have build cost. Many franchises will really break this out, but McDonald's just gives you sign seating and equipment with a range of 900,000 to $1.5 million. Next, we'll look at opening costs or what many would consider pre-opening costs. Things like opening inventory of 20 to 35,000, miscellaneous opening expenses, think about advertising and telling the public that you're open for business. Um, and then additional funds, these can be anything like uh, prepaid payroll or inventory. Next, we'll cover buying a McDonald's franchise business which is really the same process as buying any franchise business. We'll start out with store level EBITDA. That is the cash flow that's generated inside the four walls of the business. The cash that's generated from selling burgers and fries. Next up, we will subtract above store costs. So things like payroll processing and legal fees, um, among other things. That will give us a corporate level EBITDA. That is the cash flow that is expected as a new buyer of the business. Uh, we'll multiply that by a valuation multiple. Most small rent restaurant franchises trade uh, below six times earnings. McDonald's will trade towards the higher end of that range, given it's a higher quality franchise system. Last, that will give you the business valuation or the asking or buying price that you could expect in a transaction. Next, we'll run through the economics of a single McDonald's location. We'll start out with top line revenue of $3.3 million. Next, food and paper cost and labor cost being the largest cost, uh, food and paper at 26.5% and labor cost at 27.3%. Next up, we have royalties at 4% of sales. That is the fee that's paid back to the franchisor. Fifth, we'll have advertising expenses of 3.2% of sales. And finally, the biggest cost is 10% of sales, uh, that being rent. McDonald's actually owns many of the locations and so collects that from franchisees. That will give you a store level EBITDA of 12.5% or $418,000. Next, we will run through the potential price of a two unit McDonald's franchise business. We'll start with store level EBITDA of 418,000. Multiply that by two units. That will give you store level EBITDA of 836,000. We'll subtract out 2.5% GNA for those above store costs. That will give us the cash flow or the corporate level EBITDA of $669,000. Last, we'll multiply it by a 5.5 multiple. As I said, that range can vary, but for a small business, we think this is a decent estimate. And that will give you a valuation of $3.681 million. Thanks for watching. This is meant to be informative and not financial advice. Uh, please seek out professionals if you're looking to move forward with any sort of transaction.